Well, I think today is going to be the day that I'm going to take the pond down because it's going to be supposed to be getting uh, pretty cold and that could be real fun to be working outside. So I think I'll get it started. See, I get a little footage of the fish in there. I'm going to start netting them out, get the pump off and stuff like that. So get a get some clips of taking it apart. Hopefully the sun comes out. Yep, it's coming out. Since I got a bunch of the, not too many of them yet, but some of the fish that I had in the pond that I'm letting go. One of the big shiner minnow. Yeah, one of the big sunfish. A couple of the big sunfish. Quite a bit bigger than they were when I got them. Now I gotta get the pond pump out of the water so that I can drain the water down so I can get to the fish a little bit better because there's still a lot of them in there. Okay, well, first thing I do is there's, this is where I've got my power strip for the, for the pump, turn that off. Here. Gotta be careful, I got the holes pretty close to that. What I would do is just unpile all these rocks. Rocks served as kind of a dual purpose, kept the weeds and stuff out of it and kept things from getting knocked apart, disconnected, and stuff like that. When it was on windy days windy wavy days. Now I'll probably just leave this container in the lake this year because I'll pile the rocks back on it. I need to pull it all out and stuff. So the pump is here. I got it in a bag that keeps the debris off of it, which in the bottom of this tote, you'll, it gets still gets some sand and muck and stuff in it. But once in a while, I'll just come in here and scrape the junk out of there, and we'll get out of there rocks and stuff back in here for, for the winter time. That way the ice won't pull it out of here. And it'll be ready for next year. Okay. Okay, I've got the pump rigged up here now. And I've just got it going down into this the lower pond. You can see the flow. It's got a pretty strong flow, but it, you know, being all the way from down there, that's why it's so much less once it gets down here. The little creek will flow pretty strong for a short time here while well, the water's emptying out, and I get it set up to pull the fish out of it. 
I like to go through and get rid of all the debris so it can flow freer. Kind of beat the water flow down to here. Yeah, see, it's still real, real light flow all the way down to here. You can see it's starting to like the dam broke. That's how the water goes right back to the way. Unfortunately, the ducks won't have their little water source along here. I'll have to put a bowl of water out for them so they have somewhere to get a drink. See how quick this pumps it out. Yeah, it's already pretty low because the amount of water flow is a lot greater from that short distance than all the way from the lake. So it shouldn't take too long for it to pump the remaining water out of it down so we can get the rest of the fish. Now these, I'm going to try to get a way to keep the leaves out of here so I'm not fighting with them in the spring. Yeah, this will be the first time it's empty since I got it set up. Once in a while you'll see the fisher down in there. You can see them where they're breaking the surface a little bit because they're trying to move towards the deep. Because now the water is getting more shallow. You can see how much deeper it is all the way to here is where the water level was. In this little piece of ground right here it used to be out of the water with the old pond. So that's how much new water there is with the new pond compared to the old one. Once all the fish get down to that deep pocket then I'll be able to net them easier. There's a little section right in the right there that the water's not getting through but there's still a pocket of water back there. So I'm gonna see how much I can net from that section. Gotcha.
crabs came crawling out of one of the rocks after it got above water. Okay, got the water down. Now you can really see the fish down in there. To see all of them get going. I'm just gonna dump it like that. Back out there so I can get them again next year for. It's some, I wonder if in a years if I end up catching the same one, same ones over to put back in the pond the next year. Hey, well that's the end of the pond for 2022 be getting it set up again next spring colors are really in right now I'll have to get some videos of all the fall colors well thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the, the series of the pond we'll be starting up a new series next season once I get it set up again in the spring but that'll conclude this year's uh, backyard pond. Uh, I did move some of the fish into my inside aquarium. Uh, so I'll probably get some video of them in there. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep them in there all winter. I just kind of want to get some in there for a little while. So I can get some you know, videos of them and things like that. Okay, well thank you so much for watching. Remember to smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please do that right now. It doesn't cost anything. And you get to keep up with some really cool videos that I try to get put out for you. Thank you so much. You have a great rest of your day.